first build, which is the most awesome maker space probably in the world. Behind me, it's uh, what we've been working on for about a month. So right now, the guys are helping us working on two legs, and uh, you can see the legs are big bridges, and the chest is right here, and today we're gonna put it on top of the legs, and you'll see the big picture. Here, here, that's priming the engine. We got a group together and we started doing the concept sketching and the development of the robot and we're finishing up the legs so that we can finally assemble everything that we have. Then we're going to focus in on finishing up the arms and getting the head wired up and adding the lighting and finishing up the rest of the project. Yeah, so we made these two giant brackets sitting underneath, holding these, uh, these oven doors up in place. It's like the neck region. This is like the collarbone, basically. I'm Mason Hawkins. I'm working on building a mount for the head of our robot, which is a GE kitchen hub. And we're gonna have a face face turn on, so we have yet to figure out what kind of graphics we're putting on there, but it should be fun. The first uh, clay, which is very blocky with some uh, drawings on it. That's uh, the second iteration we're hoping to prop it up with like, one leg and strap or something. That way, two stories. Touching this uh, ceiling here. Uh, my favorite Transformer robot was Optimus Prime, so maybe this is his daughter, Appliance Prime. Sure. <laughs> Danny, how fast is this going to be able to do a load of laundry? Oh, so fast. Then it'll shoot the clothes out of you at full speed. Yeah, we need three. We need to figure out one, how tall is the spike hole to do Mason, I think Mason is the one that cut some of these spikes. In, so. <laughs> so what you see here is the handle, actually, the knuckles holding together. There's going to be a connector at the end. You'll have a, a pole coming all the way down, which will be about 15 feet. And then there'll be another pole that extends all the way up there. You're going to see a flag onto it. Or we have fireballs coming out of it. So that's kind of what this is. We've got to have a bar up front. Where's the boat? Who's going to be the captain of this boat? This bar is going to be where the top's hooked, and we're going to have a weight down in here. The fire can come out here, and then maybe the flag comes down here. If we're worried about the plane, no, that's, we can that's put a called. shield on top to ah, block radiation. Yeah. We were testing it outside like, when we would blast the U and field. I think radiation's not insignificant. <laughs> oh. uh, remember that time we weren't in prison? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the headline. They start working on the brackets and whatever you guys got left. Okay. Gonzo, you got this? You got this too? Yeah, I'll talk to him on that. Yeah. Okay, this is the flame component, the electrical component, and the physical component. Uh, right now, we are making a fire. <laughs> we're making sure we're this system works. We're waiting for the igniter to heat up. So we're regulating the pressure into this tank, oh, this regulator. And this is a shut off valve. This is going to be cold because you got a decompression. You can, the, you can feel the, it. Yeah, it's going to get really cold, actually. When you hit this, you can hear the relay click right here. Solenoid fires, opens the valve. That valve lets all the gas out of this tank flow through that hose. All the way at the top where it gets ignited at the very top. Alright, fits. Let's get the next one. robot has been being made in pieces. We wanted to make sure that we could stand it up and that it would be able to support itself. And now we're trying to figure out if we have enough roof in order to be able to stand up the appliance robot and see what it does. We're trying to assemble the robot for the first time, but we're having some issues with the height of the uh, forklift. So it looks like we're going to have to put the torso back down, rearrange the harnesses and try again for the third time. <laughs> Oh, they're not trying to stand up, right? I don't know. <laughs> I think it'll stand. Hopefully it stand. It looks awesome. Uh, we're going to see if it actually fits inside the building. We may have to assemble it outside. Wait, what? Um, we put it all together, but we have no idea if it's going to stand up right on its own. Um, so right now we've got it attached to the fork truck, and uh, hopefully we can tell how the balance is going to end up so that we can attach it to the legs and make sure we don't have a tip-over situation.
behind the geometry of the team, how far down it goes. This is from the neutral axis. So we started noticing that the main beam on the robot was sagging a little bit. We did some basic load calculations to determine that we are slightly above the yield strength of that beam that goes across the center. Uh, so we're going to have to weld some plates onto it to uh, reinforce it to prevent it from sagging uh, once it's standing on its own two feet. Science. <laughs> standing on its own weight, which is awesome, and it looks really stable, which is good. So once we get the arms mounted and we'll get the head on, uh, we should be ready to attach the flamethrower. 